And now on mat two, it's Guillaume Chain of France, and he's up against the Portuguese Andre uh, Alves. Alves in the white judogi and Chain in blue. Two more third round matches after this. Two more to come. And um, then we'll have our quarterfinals all lined up and ready. time being. Alves this morning had a good win over Giovanni Di Cristo and then he beat uh, Michael Kubinic. Oh. Nice turn from all of the competitors. There was a core. Mm. Uh, you go. Portuguese picks up a warning for that drop. And a good goshi was a drive from the uh, Frenchman. And a Chance for the um, hand wheel. Again, the cross grip there, offering an opportunity for a leg grab.
these two competitors met uh, last year in a World Cup in Birmingham and the lucky one was Guillaume Chain, he won. So let's have a look how it will end today and there is a chance of arm lock for the Chain Guillaume but it was well defended. And the match will continue in golden score. There was no control. No, White never intended for Blue to be thrown with that technique, so you're quite right. Close. Close to score. <laughs> <laughs> Close to the score and close to the counter. Oh, he was, he was going for it, wasn't he? Then throw, okay, well, I'll try Harai Goshi, but he was too far away and then just collapsed. There's the cross grip. What's going to happen here? It's all looking a bit desperate. Two sides of the jacket. He goes for it. Good attack. But but Chain Giam is starting to, to lose the tempo of the match. And he picks up his first warning as well. And I think he will pick, pick up another one because it doesn't look fit. He must attack and he hasn't. That's, those are not attacks. That is not... Um, wondering what he's going to attack him with. The Frenchman was much more tired than the Portuguese. Yeah. Um, I don't see why they're looking over here. There's nothing to look over at. They've made their decision. And um, the Frenchman has got to get up, bow off and take it, which he does. Good spirit.